I find hope in the way that God is caring for you and for me. We just planted some seeds here in the backyard. We're expanding our garden and the seed bag said that they would pop up in seven to 10 days. They came up in three. I continue to be amazed at the way that God is caring for his church, his people. And I read in Psalm 91 that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he, that is God, will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions under his wings. He will, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Verse 9 says, Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. Now, God isn't promising that he will protect us all from COVID-19. What he's doing in Psalm 91 is saying, he can be our shelter and our refuge. That is to say that he cares for you and for me as we trust him. So no matter what's going on in your day today, and no matter what kind of, of violence and um, suffering is surrounding your perception of the world today, know that God can be your refuge. He can be your strength and we can find um, shelter in him. He cares for you and for me. He continues to grow things in this world because he's in charge. He continues to work in you and through you, even now, as you trust him. One of the best ways to trust him, to, to be covered by his wings, to take refuge in him, is to pray. And so we as a church body at Marco Church, what we're doing on Sunday night, June the 14th, is we're gathering together uh, through Zoom. You should have gotten an email, and if you haven't, just click on the link there at marcochurch.com or go to the Facebook link and sign up for our emails. We'll send the link again to our Zoom prayer, which will start at 6 p.m. on Sunday night, because what we want to do is to gather together as a church and trust Him more. And one of the best ways to do that is to pray. Will you continue to pray as he continues to work? Will you trust him? Because he continues to grow you and me, even in the midst of this COVID-19 moment. He loves you and I love you. And I look forward to gathering again together as the church body. I'm so anxious for that day to come and it will come soon. But even so right now we can trust him. We can rest in him. We can be covered by him as we pray to him.